Mr. Rosario bought some apples and oranges. The ratio of the number of apples to the number of oranges that he bought was 2 to 5. He gave away 3 fourths of the apples to his sister and 34 oranges to his brother. The ratio of the number of apples to the number of oranges that he has now is 2 to 3. How many apples did Mr. Rosario buy? How many oranges did Mr. Rosario buy? This problem was taken from a 7th grade Singapore text and Singapore students are doing these problems in grade 7. Uh, problems like this are also seen in U.S. high school texts or at times in college algebra texts and in the U.S. these problems are generally done algebraically. We're going to take a look at two different types of solutions. The first one will be algebraic. The second one will be visual, the way it's generally done in Singapore in grade 7. And the algebraic solution is similar to the one, it, the, similar to, to the way it's generally done in the U.S. in high school or at times at college. So we're going to call the first solution, the algebraic solution, the U.S. solution. So let's take a look at our U.S. method or U.S. solution. Okay, um, the, Mr. Rosario bought the ratio of apples to oranges that he bought was 2 to 5. That means for every two apples, he had five oranges. Based on that principle, we can say for every 2x apples he bought, he purchased 5x oranges. So we are going to conclude that Mr. Rosario bought 2x apples and 5x oranges. Now, he gave away 3 fourths of this many apples. So he was left with 1 fourth of 2x apples. This is what he was left with. Oops, I'm going to erase that. Okay, he was left with this. He gave away 34 oranges. He originally had 5x oranges, so he was left with this. Now, according to the question, the new ratio of apples to oranges is 2 to 3. So this number, their expression, to this expression, 5x minus 34, has to be 2 to 3. This is kind of important how we got this equation. We really have to get that. Now, having said that, let's move on and solve this equation. I'm going to erase everything and move forward. Okay, so basically this is our equation from the previous slide. We can cancel 2 and 4 and get x over 2 here. Didn't change anything else. A ratio is really another way of writing fractions. So instead of x over 2 to 5x minus 3 minus 34, I can write x over 2 divided by 5x minus 34. Instead of 2 to 3, I can write 2 over 3. Now, here I can cross multiply. I'm multiplying x over 2 by 3, putting it here on the left hand side. I'm multiplying 2 by 5x minus 34 and putting it here. I'm going to on the left hand side I get 3x over 2, on the right hand side I distribute 2 over 5x minus 34, I get 10x minus 68. Let's erase and move. Okay, the next line move goes from here to here. I cross multiply 3x times 1 is 3x, 2 times 10x minus 68, I get 3x here. 20x minus 136, 2 times 68 is 136. I move my variables on the same side, I get 20x minus 3x here is equal to 136, which is 17x, 136, divide both sides by 17, x is 8. Now I'm almost done. Let's erase everything. So from here, using algebra, we can conclude that x is 8. Well, if x is 8, we know Mr. Rosario bought 2x apples, so he must have purchased 16 apples. We also know he bought 5x oranges. He must have purchased 40 oranges. So now, this is the algebraic solution. These are our answers. Let's move on and look at the Singapore way. Okay, starting with the ratio. For every two apples he got, he had five oranges. So, the only catch here is it's harder to split this into fourths. I want to make sure under apples I have something that can be divided by four. So without changing the ratio, let's erase everything and take this. If you understand the meaning of ratio, we know that these two are equivalent. Two to five is same as taking this four times. We take this four times because we are going to split it into fourths. Now Mr. Rosario gave away three fourths. He was left with this much. 
and the new ratio he gave away some oranges he gave away 34 oranges and I don't know how many circles to remove but I do know that the new ratio was 2 to 3 so I do know he must have had this many oranges that tells me he must have given away let me use red he must have given away this many oranges this is a very crucial step I'm gonna go over it once again according to the question he gave away three-fourths of the oranges that tells me he was left with this much and I also know for every two apples he had he had he was left with three oranges because he gave away some oranges as well so that tells me he must have given away this many oranges no the circles don't each circle does not represent one orange now we do know he gave away 34 oranges that tells me each circle I have 17 circles here each circle must be two so this is how I figure out what each circle is worth once I have it I'm almost all set I can move on I'm gonna erase everything move to the next slide <clears throat> So basically from our previous slide I, we concluded that he gave away the blue circles representing apples and the blue circles representing oranges and his new ratio was 2 to 3. So all I need to know now is how many apples and how many oranges did he buy originally. So from the previous slide we also concluded that each circle must represent 2. If each circle represents 2 I have 8 circles. He bought 8 circles originally so eight circles means 16 apples he bought 16 apples originally how many oranges did he buy well he bought five times four 20 circles representing oranges and each circle is worth two so he must have purchased 40 oranges that's our answer so here is a US method and a Singapore method. I want the readers to decide which one is more accessible, which one is more valuable, which one is more convincing, which one is easier for people to understand, which one is easier to reason through, which one can be transferred to a slightly different context, which one will yield more success for our students, the US one or the Singapore one.